In this video, I am going to show you how to automate remote task from your jump host. I created a small script which will help to automate your remote task from your jump host via SSH. You can see this is my jump host and this is my remote client. I already configured SSH passwordless authentication using root account. You can see I am able to log into the remote host. So now I am going to show you, I have created a script which will help to perform the remote task without logging to the remote client. I created a script called my SSH and run on client. So both the scripts are available in the video description URL and this is my website. You can go ahead and copy and use it for your daily automation purpose. First, I need to create a utility called my SSH. For this, I am going to copy this entire code. In my case, I am using the account called root for my passwordless authentication. In your case, which is a different account, you can change it here. So let's copy the code. Once copied the code and go to the your jump server, then create a file called user win my SSH. Create a file called my SSH and paste this code and save it. Once this is done, copy the another code run on client. So copy all the code. So here you copy the entire code and go to your jump host. Save in this name slash user bin run on client. You can save it here. Once this is done, don't forget to change the permission. CH more u plus x user bin my ssh same like for the run on client also now i am going to show you how to perform each and every task using my run on client automation tool for that i am going to first run run on client i already have the local script which will help to get the os information from the remote host then my my script name i already know my remote client is client if i press enter you can see i am getting the result from my remote client. So basically the local script will execute it on the remote host and we can get the result on the jump host. So next method two, you can see if you want to run the multiple hosts, the same script, you can do the same run on client, local script. You have to create the inventory file. In this inventory file, put the list of host. For example, if I CAD this file, you can see I have added list of host. So now I'm going to run the run on client, my local script and my host entry. If I make it enter, so it will execute it on the remote client and we can get the result in my jump host. Basically, it will perform the parallel execution. If you want to run it in the serial execution, you can do it space hyphen wait option. So it will do one after one. So basically, the parallel action will be completed as soon as possible. And it's very fast, but the serial one, it will execute one node at a time only. Now we have seen the how to execute local script on the remote host. Now I'm going to show you how to execute local command on the remote host. For that, I'm going to use run on client. I have the inventory file. If I want to type uptime command, I can type uptime, which will get executed on the remote host parallelly. If I want to see the DF command or something else, like you can put it in the double quotation, you can see. Each and every request, it will get executed and we are getting the result. But basically, it is not printing in the serial. For that, we need. if you want to get in a serial, we have option for that. We can use, in front of that, you can type iPhone wait. So basically, it will give the serial result. So what we are doing here, on multiple hosts, we are executing the command serially. So basically, if you want to perform a task on the multiple hosts if you want to fetch the sum out on the remote host and this method will really helpful so once this is done the final option if you want to execute a local command on the single host you can do the you can do the same my ssh if you want to check the uptime you can type uptime so this is all about my automation script so this one is i verified already uh, it is a very simplified method same like ansible if you have the script ready uh, so without ansible we can perform this ask task on the remote host this will be really helpful for your daily operations thanks for watching support and subscribe my channel